Well, it opened September 6, 2006. Uh, the origin of it goes somewhere back into my subconscious when I somewhere along the line thought one day I'd love to have a museum. Never actually believing it would happen, but lo and behold, September 6, 2006, it did. Over the years, I had concentrated primarily on collecting comic books. And as my collection grew and as my capacity to buy things grew, I found it a blessing that I was able to buy other people's complete collections. So for example, if a guy collected Popeye all his life and put 40 years of his life into putting the best Popeye collection, I kind of almost considered myself guilty for being able to buy it all in one shot, knowing the pain that it must have been over 40 years like it was for me with comics put it all together. So there's an amalgamation of a variety of collector's collections that I was able to purchase, hence all part of Jeppe's Entertainment Museum and my collection. Comic books and comic art and pop culture in general are a great key towards introducing people to the world that we live in as it relates to pop culture and also help educate them with other things. It's, the old saying is a picture's worth a thousand words and these comics and this comic art gives people a visual ticket into the world of what the Library of Congress represents, the knowledge of the earth, so to speak. It is a bittersweet decision. Uh, the bitter being, of course, you spend your whole life putting a collection together and then suddenly, so to speak, giving it away, but I don't see it that way. The sweet part of it is knowing as a collector, while we all love our stuff, there's no fun sitting in a corner by yourself looking at it. The joy in collecting and in anything really is sharing. So the thought that this would be now permanently housed in the Library of Congress is special because the nucleus of my collection that I've taken 40 some years to build, I believe belongs where someone more than just a small local audience can see it. it the National, uh, the, the Library of Congress already has 1.8 million visitors a year, I believe is the number, somewhere in that neighborhood. And as such, it immediately gives a dramatic difference in how many people will see it as opposed to here. I highly encourage anyone who is conscious of what this means to the posterity, generations to come, if you are in a position to and would like to, to consider contributing comics, comic art, things of that nature, to help us collectively build the greatest assemblance of pop culture material ever. We all know this stuff has become very valuable, and I understand that's a tough decision to make. It was for me, but I'm able to take this and fulfill a dream of being associated or affiliated in a small way with the people who put together this lasting monument to pop culture.